Hi, welcome to Portal 7. Sometimes we need guidance in our work from any friend or any other person. Or sometimes we are out and we want to get some important file or access our computer. In that case remote desktop application becomes very important tool to make life easy. In this video I will show you how to use a remote desktop application. So, open your browser and type any viewer. Open first link. And here we are on official website of any viewer remote desktop software. I will put any viewer website link in video's description too. You can click and download from there also. Let's see its features first. As we can see it can provide quick support from remote locations and secure connection. It also has features to transfer files between two remote computers and supports major devices like Windows, Android and iPhone. For data security it provides 256-bit end-to-end encryption, quick and stable connection, easy installation and operate facility. Now let's check its free version and pro version services. As we can see free version has two channels, two simultaneous seasons and three assigned devices and 10 managed devices support. Pro version has five simultaneous seasons, 10 devices and 100 managed devices. Enterprise Edition have much more devices support and other features. If you are using for personal use, then free version will also work good. But if you have much requirements then you can go for pro version or higher. You can choose your best option according to your requirements. For now let's download free version. Click on download. Click open and install any viewer. Now we can see any viewer app interface. It has two options accept control and start control. In accept control it's showing your device ID and security code. The other device need this device ID and security code to connect this device. Device ID you cannot change it will be same. Down below you can see temporary security code. You can change it by refreshing from here. So your device ID will be same and security code you can change. On right side you can see start control. Here in partner ID box you will put another device ID. And then, you can choose remote control or file transfer option then connect. Now click on device and you can see it has limitations without login. So let's log in. You can click on sign up and then register by your mail ID. I have already done it so I will choose login. After login, you can see it's showing connected devices and your local device. And here according to your license, it will show assigned device and manage device options. As of now I'm using pro version, so it's showing assigned devices 10 and manage devices 100. If you have pro version license code, then you can enter it here. You can download this for Windows, iOS and Android from here also. Now let's install this in Android phone. Open Play Store. Type any viewer and click on install. Now open the app. Accept user license agreement and login from same mail ID and password. Now you can see your all devices here, same as you can see in PC. Click on your device name which you want to connect. Here I will click on views screen. Now it has two options. If you send control request, then other device has to accept that request, then it will connect. Or you can input security code. Here I will put security code. And now it's connected, as it's in view mode so we can just see the other device. In phone it's showing three options stop connection, mode, and rotate screen. Let's disconnect. This time I will choose one click control option. From here, you can shut down your connected device, or restart too. It's showing instruction for mouse use. And it's connected. This time we have many option in phone. It has two mode. You can control your PC by touch mode and mouse mode. 
I will try touch mode. It has mouse and keyboard facility. You can control your device by virtual mouse or touch. You can change resolution. If you have low speed internet connection, then you can use high desktop wallpaper to save data. You can try touch or mouse control option or both also. At this time I am using Android phone, but let's see file transfer option also, which works for PC to PC connection. You can see the process on website also. Connect two PCs. Choose file transfer and connect. Then it will show both PCs directory this way. Select any file then from top click on this arrow to transfer file from one PC to another, and your file will be transferred. If you want to use any viewer app then link is in video's description. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.